Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Coco Carl Thirty Four. It's today to do uh, the uh, predictions for uh, No Mercy. Now I don't have the match card in front of me, so I'm just going to go off a of memory. Uh, so first match up is the pre-show match, which will be Jack Swagger versus Baron Corbin. This is a throwaway match. Corbin's going to win. Yeah. Um. Then I believe Curtis <clears throat> Kurt Hawkins is going to have a match. He's going to win the match, pretty much. Um. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Bray's gonna win it. I'm predicting Bray. Um, and then we've got the well, we would have had the Divas match, or the Divas title match, not the Divas title. God, the women's championship match, the SmackDown women's championship, but it's been cancelled apparently because Alexa Bliss has been injured. So it could be that Becky Lynch defends it in. I mean, against someone else. So I'm gonna predict Becky Lynch to retain um, if she does wrestle on the night. Um, so yeah. Um, what else, what else, what else? Think, 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 think. I can't think, 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 think. It would be the tag title match uh, between the Usos, who are... Um, 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 against Rhino and Heath Slater. Um, now, this one's quite hard. I'd actually say maybe... Maybe I'm gonna go with the Usos. I'm gonna say the Usos win it by maybe like attacking Rhino, like like doing a move on Rhino, and he's and then after them and then like seriously injuring him, something like that, and then going for the pin one two three. They won the titles, and then you can have Heath Slayer going a rampage. You know, well not a rampage, but just going. You know, maybe he finds someone else to tag with and try and get the titles back, and then you can like have something where Slater tries to go after. Maybe maybe have Heath Slater go off the. In the Continental Championship, because I loved you when you did that promo against Brock Lesnar on Raw. I I I got behind that. I got behind that promo. I'm not. Even, this is the Heath Slater that I want. I want the Heath Slater that is determined, that is focused, that is furious, that he's just all about his family. He just wants to, you know, just have his whole thing be. I want to put food on the table for my kids, and you know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what I need to do. You know. Have that character, have him go after the Intercontinental Championship. That'd be really cool. Um, and speaking of the Intercontinental Championship, Miz versus Ziggler. Now, there are rumours that Ziggler will be leaving the leaving WWE. At first, I was hoping that he'd win. But I think to make the Intercontinental Championship more prestigious, I'd say Miz. Miz for the win. Uh, Miz to retain the title. Um, I think he should retain it all the way up to WrestleMania. And I think Dolph Ziggler, he needs to be used somewhere else. I think Dolph should go to New Japan. I think he should lose this match. But I think he should lose it maybe in a clean... I would say a clean way, because I think that's the best way. Instead of going out like a cheap way, it's better to go out a clean way. So have a great bow. I think these two are going to have the match of the night, in my opinion. Seriously, I think these two are going to have match of the night. Because there's so much emotion and just personal feelings behind this. And it's all about the Intercontinental Championship, which makes the championship so goddamn prestigious and mean something that's brilliant that's what i like to see well done smackdown you do you're doing proud <coughs> oh man proud so proud i'm dying um and i think that's it apart from the main event which will be dean ambrose versus aj styles versus john cena for the wwe world championship um aj's gonna win it i feel like aj should retain and hopefully i think Maybe for Survivor Series, I'd like, I'd really like to see John Cena versus AJ Styles, and I would have, I would have, I just, I don't know, I honestly don't know. I think, I think it'd be great if you could have John Cena versus AJ Styles at Survivor Series, and maybe Dean Ambrose goes after the Continental Championship or something stupid like that. I don't know. Or maybe have John Cena win, you know, have, 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 I don't know, because I recently John Cena has been. For some reason, there's been the change of character in John Cena is a is brilliant. SmackDown have finally done something with Cena, and it's just brilliant. I mean, yeah, I'm a huge Cena fan. I just love the work they did. I just loved how. I don't want to say. I guess you could say he, he the reign which he had over a year was he made the championship prestigious because he defended it like all the time, like a lot. Which was good, and that's what I liked about him. And he's he's just a good guy. He's a guy that he he puts a lot of effort into what he does, and he does try. But it's like, 
he can't help that he's a poster boy. He can't help that he's a poster boy. And uh, to be honest, I think deep down he's even thinking, I'm so happy that I put that I put AJ Styles over. You know, that was great. Um, <clears throat> maybe he's thinking like that, but I think, in my mind, AJ Styles is going to win it. And I think he's going to carry the title till WrestleMania. Maybe even past WrestleMania, because I think a great... And you're going to probably hate me all for this, but I'm going to say it, the, a great title match for WrestleMania involved in the WWE Championship would be AJ Styles versus the top heel in SmackDown, The Miz. I know a lot of you are going to be like, what the fuck? But I think having the biggest heel on SmackDown versus AJ Styles for the title and really make Miz just a vicious heel, you know, something like that. That's how you make that's how you make the championship even more prestigious. Like you can have a, pres a once prestigious Intercontinental Champion going after the WWE Championship, and it's just whoa. So yeah, that's my predictions. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I want to hear about your predictions in the comments section below. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you later. Bye bye.